these guys just disappeared. Yeah, all on that stretch of road right above El Matador. You know it? With the big rock. That's right. Yeah. You know, Mickey Cohen used to take his associates out there. A bit of a bond voyage. Mob hits? Nah, not this time. One of these guys was a school teacher. Next guy, he sold insurance. And the last guy, he was retired. Any connection? Mm-mm. I mean, I checked them all out. There's no criminal records, no association any criminal organizations. One of the guys was arrested for drunk driving a long time ago. They were all divorced. Mm. Well, in that case, maybe you don't want to go out there, boss. What are you, a comedian? If that's the case, you sure don't want to go out there. Yeah, look, I know what happened, all right? They go out to the rock, they take that long, cold, slow swim to China. Suicide? It's been known to happen out there. No, uh, not this time. What do you mean? Well, for one thing, there's no bodies. And somebody was out there the day the last guy disappeared. A witness? <laughs> yeah, a witness. Well, why didn't you say that in the first place? Because I thought the guy was nuts, what he said. But now you believe him. I had him checked out, too. Guy's a goddamn Eagle Scout. So now, now I don't know what to believe. I know I don't want to believe him. What did he say? He said he was out there walking his dog along the bluffs above El Matador, right? And he looks down at the beach at that huge rock, you know, the one that's separated from the mainland, right where the ocean meets the shore. His words looks like a, like a mythic sea creature, you know, that one. Yeah. Anyway, he looks down there, and there's a guy who's on top of that rock. And he's thinking to himself, how the hell do you get up there? You got to be a goddamn mountain climber. But more importantly, he says the guy's acting really funny. He's looking all over that rock, like he's looking for something or someone. At that very moment, he says it got really, really dark, really fast, and bombs start going off in the air, thunder and lightning, weather like he'd never seen before, coming from he didn't know where. When he looks back at the rock, the guy's gone. But there's a woman there. She's in a white dress, alabaster skin, his words. And he says she's staring right up at him. He sees her, she's beautiful, but like she's from some other time, some other place. He looks back at the weather because it's getting worse and worse. He decides to hightail it out of there. And that was it, that was his story, right? So now, now I need you to go up there and find that woman. So these guys just disappeared. Nah, not this time. Somebody was out there the day the last guy disappeared. A witness? <laughs> yeah, a witness. He said that he was up there walking his dog along those bluffs above El Matador. And there's a guy who's on top of that rock. He's just like looking all over the rock as if he's looking for someone or something. Then it gets dark all of a sudden, really fast. Like thunder and lightning from everywhere, all this weather. When he looks back at the rock, the guy's gone. But there's a woman there in a long white dress with alabaster skin. And she's staring right up at him, not moving. Now I don't know what to believe. I know I sure don't want to believe him. Yeah, dispatch. This is Captain Foster. I'm out here at the El Matador location. There's no sign of Detective Sullivan. Now, just this car. Listen, I'm gonna take a look around before you send anybody out here, so.
Hang on a minute. LAPD, put your hands in the air. Put your hands up now. Thank you. 